What's going on y'all? Welcome back to Harry the Horse Barbecue and today we are making a smoked brisket flat. Can we make the flat muscle of a brisket actually taste good? Will there be any undesirable parts of the flat when we're finished? We're about to find out. Let's get it. Harry the Horse Barbecue. Brisket flats are very well known for being dry, overcooked, too tough, and just overall lacking flavor. Especially the portion of the flat muscle that rides underneath the point muscle, because that is the section that gets the least amount of smoke and bark when you're cooking a whole brisket. Now good quality whole briskets have been pretty hard to find lately, and my local grocery stores don't even carry full packer briskets. I don't live down in Texas, so maybe some of y'all can relate, maybe some of y'all can't relate, but what some of my grocery stores actually carry are just the flat muscle of a brisket. For some reason they don't sell the whole brisket, but the flat muscle I can find pretty readily available. So I thought to myself, sometimes the point muscle can be a little overbearing in terms of how fatty it is, and if you can cook the flat perfectly to where it comes out juicy with a little bit of fat cap on top, it's a pretty good bite of barbecue. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try and make this brisket flat the juiciest, most delicious brisket flat possible. So in order to smoke this brisket flat muscle, we gotta go shopping for a brisket. This flat actually looks pretty good. I picked up this certified Angus beef brisket flat from my local grocery store and it's actually pretty pricey. Check it, costing me nearly 62 bucks. It's a pretty decent sized flat and it looks like it's got a little bit of the point on top which is going to help us out keeping this nice and moist and juicy. So to get this brisket flat they essentially separated off right about here the point muscle that rides on top of this section of the flat. And then this is the normal flat end of the brisket that we're used to seeing. They left a good amount of fat cap on, which is gonna be crucial to keeping this brisket flat moist. And if we've got a little point on here, it's only gonna do us some good. Enough horsing around, let's get this brisket flat out of the pack. Now, if you didn't see on the pack, this is a USDA choice grade brisket flat. And I'm going to trim this up similarly to how I would trim a normal brisket, where I'm going to take off some of this thinner stuff, remove this edge that's been treated, take down the fat cap to about a quarter of an inch everywhere. And I'm going to leave this little section here. This is going to be crucial. So let's give this a quick trim. That's not bad marbling for a choice grade brisket. Keep all of this for burgers. Hopefully some future sausage videos. This point of this brisket flat would be sort of where the mohawk would sit, kind of where you would take down this little patch of fat and then kind of trim down the mohawk this way. Thin this out a bit. Just about a quarter of an inch. All right, let's give this side a little shape, just a little mini swoop. It looks like a little mini brisket. See our fat cap needs to come down here. Just a wee bit. I am pretty excited about this brisket flat. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's looking pretty money just for a quick grocery store pickup. It's a pretty thick looking flat right there. That's looking pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I am stoked. Looking good all the way around, man. I think we're gonna make a brisket flat taste amazing today. All right, y'all, in true Texas fashion, we're gonna go sort of the OG Texas style with some 16 mesh, black pepper, kosher salt, and some Lowry season salt. As a staple, we're going down with Q glue. It's got the mustard, it's got the turmeric, it's got all these other glorious spices. If you're gonna use a binder, use something with some good flavor. And Q glue, in my opinion, has never steered me wrong. Chud 16 mesh black pepper. On sale now at shopchuds.com. Oh yeah. Tapping into our inner Texas today. Gonna make the best brisket flat possible. Making sure we get it all on there. We wanna attract that smoke, build an amazing bark on this flat. Some kosher salt now. It's the flat. It's gonna need all the help it can get. Lowry's time. Give it that nice Texas traditional flair. 
Give her a flip around. Q glue down. Chud 16 mesh. Nice and liberal. Good coating right on top. This is where you can go really heavy because the fat is gonna to start to render and we wanna help build that bark as the fat renders. So that's what this pepper is gonna do for us. Kosher salt. And last our Lowry's. And this brisket flat is looking pretty darn good. Our Texas style brisket flat is all seasoned up and it's ready for the cooker. So let's go fire up the cooker. Way lighter than the thousand gallon I've been cooking on lately. Sweet. All right, y'all, the cooker's at about 200 degrees and I wanna start this brisket flat a little on the lower side and a little on the smokier side so we can maximize the smoky flavor that the brisket flat will take on. And that way we don't cook this flat too hot to start because then that flat will start to curl and we want this thing to be beautiful, aerodynamic, juicy, and that fat to render at the end of this. Man, I'm starting to get hungry just thinking about it. Let's go grab that brisket flat and get it on the cooker. Let's go. Brisket flat, Texas style. Almost looks like a regular brisket. Let's get it on. Up and under. Okay, ooh yeah, nice and smoky. That point section going straight towards the fire. Looking nice. I've got a blocking log and a water pan as usual to keep this cook moist, humid, and so that way that fat on that flat renders down beautifully. We're gonna close it down, run temps anywhere between 225 and 250 to start. Let's close it down. Boom, shakalaka. All right, y'all, about four and a half hours in on this brisket flat cook. Let's take a peek and see how it's looking. It has also been the most beautiful day for a brisket cook, and I have just been enjoying it here in New York. The best day we've had, probably since my Goldie's Beef Rib video. Make sure you get outside and do some grilling. Up and under, okay. Ooh, that could not look more spectacular. Man, it just looks like a cute little brisket. It is just cooking perfectly all the way around. Come take a look. The bark is setting up really nice, no pooling or anything. I'm gonna give it a quick spritz. I'm gonna apply what I've been calling the foil band-aids. Now a lot of Texas restaurants do this. I've been doing this at the restaurant I've been working at. You're covering the ends of the brisket with some foil to prevent any burning or crispiness or overcooking. Foil diaper is also a uh, appropriate term. Now that that's all set, let's keep rocking this baby brisket flat. All I did was spritz with some pickle juice just cause I have it left over. And that's it, super easy brisket flat cook. We've been rocking temps at about 250 to 275. I think I'm gonna stay in that upper 275 area as best as I can. We'll catch y'all back. Boom. We're about seven and a half hours in on this brisket flat. All right, this color's looking great. This fat cap is still needing some time to render. Give it a spritz down with some pickle juice. We're gonna keep letting this brisket rock out about 275 to 285. And I'll bring you guys back when we do a paper wrap in some beef tallow, a traditional Texas style brisket flat. After a good 12 hour rest, our brisket flat is ready to be unveiled and sliced into 
to see if it's worth cooking up a brisket flat. Enough horsing around, this has been a labor for some flat. Let's check it out. She's looking pretty good. It's feeling pretty tender. Can you see right in there how that fat is yellowed? That is a sign of some well-rendered fat. I think I might need a little extra beef tallow. There we go. Don't let any of this go to waste. These are the goods right here. Gotta go straight down the middle. Yeah. Oh man, that's looking good. Pretty classic looking lean. Yeah, there's no way this is gonna be bad. Oh, 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 okay, yep. With ease, y'all, with ease. And not overdone, holding up under its own weight. Oh, this is gonna be such a money bite. Here we go. Mm-hmm, 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 mm. Oh man. That's some fantastic lean brisket. It's so tender, it's ridiculous. A little dip, 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 dip. Ooh, let's try the actual flat muscle here. Still holding up under its own weight, but a little, oh yeah. Oh, just impossibly tender. Look at that bark on there. If this is the only option, if you're only finding lean briskets in your grocery store, it is not a bad way to go. I'll eat this all day. It's not nearly as heavy as the point muscle. Oh, it still has a little bit of that point to give it some moisture. Mmm, ooh, super classic. Now for the true test of a lean brisket, check out this end cut. Not looking too bad in there. Looking pretty moist. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Immediately it's moist. That fat rendered super nicely, as you can see. It's a little dry around the edges, but this is one of the more moist end cuts from a lean that I've had, especially choice grade. Man, you know it's good if the end cut is edible. It's so smoky. Mmm, I love that. This smoked brisket flat is so good, I just can't stop. Mmm! It's smoky, it's tender all the way through. Fat render is money. This brisket is not horsing around, I tell you what. This is what makes a good brisket lean so dangerous is that you can eat a lot of it. Someone's gotta take this away. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is a wrap about a brisket flat. This is a wrap about a brisket flat. Yeah, I'm eating brisket flat while I wear my tud hat. We gave it that paper wrap, man, this makes the perfect snack. Yeah, I'm eating brisket flat while I wear my tud hat. We gave it that paper wrap, man, this makes the perfect snack. Mmm. Yep. You don't even need teeth for this. Mmm. It's just so good from top to bottom. I couldn't have picked a more perfect brisket flat to cook up. The internal marbling was decent. Nice fat cap on there. This cooked up beautifully. Now, if you can't find whole packer briskets readily available to you, a brisket flat is the next best option, especially because I know they're a little more accessible. When picking one out, try to find a nice fat cap, a thick flat. If you can get some of that point muscle still attached, that would be key because it adds flavor and moisture throughout the cook. Real classic, simple Texas style rub on here. Some good smoke, some time and attention, a nice paper wrap and some beef tallow. You've got a winning brisket without that point muscle. I mean, who's gonna say no to that? Not me. Thank y'all for tuning in to Harry the Horse Barbecue. I really appreciate you checking out this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel below. I know you want to do it and it really helps me out. So just hit that subscribe button below. You know we got that crispy dark bark on the outside of this brisket flat. So leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below if you've ever just smoked a brisket flat. And if you think it's worth the time and effort to put into it. Make sure you hit that notification button so you get notified every time we're posting new videos. And you can follow me on Instagram at Harry the Horse Barbecue. Tag me so I can see what y'all are cooking because it really inspires me to get outside and cook. And with that being said, there's only one more thing, y'all. This one is going straight to the horse's mouth. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. I'm taking this with me. Mm.